Okay guys, so a quick um, unboxing here of the Jihada F200. So here's our specs. This one comes with the uh, Celeron processor, 2 gigs of RAM. And so very importantly, no hard disk. Uh, I actually got caught by that one because on the, on the shop that I bought this from, they actually said there's a 8 gig eMMC drive, which would have been fine for what I wanted to do here. So I'm going to take this out. Fair warning, I have opened this box before. So we just have our normal CD. This is for Windows drivers and so on. And then um, here is a little unit. And then we just have our uh, 12 volt power supply here. And uh, some screws here, which has a very important role to play. Right, so there's your back view. So you've got HDMI, two USBs, I think those are USB 2. That JAHC, I think, has something to do with remote, remote control, Re starting the unit remotely, and so on. And then there's the front. Let's take that off. And here we've got a USB 3. And that's your power button, and then it's got an audio out, mic in. All right, so um, let's open this guy up because uh, we're gonna need to put in one of these. Now, M SATA is actually a drying breed. It was quite difficult to find this 32 gig, and this is gonna be our storage for our operating system. Okay, so we're gonna quickly open up this case and um, get it open so we can install that M SATA 32 gig. So that's those two screws. And then we've got two screws here. There is a little 3G antenna port here. So I see it does actually come with a 3G SIM slot. But before you get too excited, you still have to buy the modem. Okay, so we're gonna slide it out like this. And this is what it looks like. Alright, so yeah, so interestingly enough, we've got a 3G SIM slot there, but I think we you still need to buy a 3G modem that will slot in here. And this is now your M SATA slot, and that's where we're gonna install our uh, 32 gig drive. Okay, so we've taken out the 32 gig M SATA from its package and it's going to go in here one handed. Yeah, okay, cool. So we've got that and now we need to screw this down. Okay, so we've just uh, screwed down our 32 gig M SATA here and we are now good to go. I'm going to close this case back up and start the operating system installation so i hope you enjoyed this um, quick unboxing and installing of the m SATA drive if you guys have any questions you are welcome to pop them through to me this is actually my first time working with the uh, jihada and apparently from what i hear from my suppliers they actually change these models quite often so this is actually a bit of a an outdated one but uh, for the price this is, I think, just what I need.